Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Welcome one and all. Hope you're feeling doing all right, no matter where you are. Yeah, I'm breaking out the trench coat today. It might be a sunny day. Well, it's actually kind of partly cloudy, but that doesn't matter. I'm a rebel. I don't think that there is some sort of elite, you know, special forces team rising out of the water behind me to drag me off for wearing this, even though the sun is out. And uh, like I said, I'm a rebel, and this is to establish that. And likewise, it's all going to make sense when I introduce what item Pizza Hut released, I guess re-released a couple weeks back. Pizza Hut has brought back... I can't believe it's already been... <laughs> Gosh, how many months has it been now? Like eight months, I guess, since this was last out? They're Detroit-style pizza. Now, they released this back in January, and again, to me, it's like, wow, that just happened, but, I mean, it has been some time anyway. It was a very popular item at the time, and uh, granted, I think lots of people were checking it out. I think it was very well received. Pizza Hut clearly realized this. Those people on that plane clearly realized that. So, they collectively came together. Yes, indeed, Pizza Hut and the Plain People, and uh, they determined that a re-release was in order. So, indeed, they brought it back with one minor adjustment, and today what I really want to do is I want to reassess the pizza, because I really liked it um, back in January. I mean, if you want to revisit that review that I did, I was raving about this thing. Not ranting, just raving. There was a little bit of foam dripping out of my mouth at the time, and again, you can consult that video to verify that. Um, I mean, I really liked this thing, and I gave it a 9 out of 10, which is pretty rare, you know, but I really, really enjoyed it. Here's what I want to find out. I got this from a different Pizza Hut. I want to see, well, is it just as good? Are they maintaining the standards? Did I just get a really good one? How's it holding up with this re-release? All right, here's what the Detroit-style pizza is. It's a rectangular cut pizza. Um, the toppings are really all the way to the crust. Now, one thing that I did have to clarify, it's the planes themselves that like the pizza. People don't know that. That's a little-known fact in the airline industry, but that's what I meant by that. Um, the toppings go to the crust. The sauce goes on top of the toppings. I got this at the price of $13. You can get this in a variety of styles, be that with double pepperoni, supreme, um, but the one thing now is that you can customize it, and uh, you can kind of add additional toppings or take some toppings off. You cannot make any adjustments to the cheese or the sauce, though. It comes in its famous Detroit-style pizza box. It says, it's back. And uh, you can see those red strips. Um, that's not, I don't know, make something up. Uh, that says vine-ripened tomato sauce. That's not red cotton candy or anything. Um, but that's actually the sauce on top of the pizza right there. But again, it's back, and they give the little diorama of what it is. It says vine-ripened tomato sauce. Up top, keeps the crust light and airy. It's got crispy, cheesy edges. It says hint, go for the corner pieces. So that's the insider info right there. 50% uh, more cheese, melted all the way to the edge. Again, it's loaded with toppings cooked to perfection. Maintaining the standards today, we will see. That's what I'm here to verify if they are or aren't. We'll see if it's really, uh, if it still lives up to that 9 out of 10 rating. Clearly, all the planes are excited about it, so we'll find out. I went with the double pepperoni one today. So, because you know I like my pepperoni. There it is. Let's get a thumbnail shot uh, first and foremost. And then we'll, of course, get a, a slice closer up, and we'll go from there. We'll get that, and then we'll get one more, maybe one like this, too. Something like that. I know I can make something of that. So, let's refocus the camera now. Pick a slice, any slice, right? Well, they said to go with the corner pieces now. I can continue to be a rebel, most definitely. I can go with the middle piece. But, you know, I can't let this wild lifestyle get the best of me, so 
I did go with the corner piece. You can see that it is a little more on the kind of like deep dish pan pizza type of side. You can see the cheese, you can see that sauce right there. Pepperoni likewise. Comes with the regular pepperoni as well as the uh, old world style pepperoni as they say, or I think the perhaps the cup pepperoni in Pizza Hut vernacular. And there it is, another view of it. But you can see, sauce is on top of everything. With that, let's try it out and see how it tastes. Pizza Hut's Detroit-style pizza, it's back, and I'm trying it out again. It's going in. Good to see it back. It's good to see it back. And I think with that first statement, I think that kind of tells you everything that you already, you know, that you need to know about it. I'm glad that it's back. I really am. This is one of those pizzas that, you know, from day one, I, day one from, I guess, the first second that I tried it, I, I liked it one of those few items that it just works and it's one of those items just knowing you know the state of things with fast food and takeout and all that sort of stuff uh, the variability that could occur from one establishment to the other sometimes it doesn't really end up that way and you think well did I just get a good one it, it, is, is it always like this etc I, I kind of had my worries at first I remember with this pizza that Especially the sauce was just going to be too much. It was going to be too overwhelming. It just wasn't going to work There was going to be some sort of issue with the quality um, Or the pepperoni, etc And Pizza Hut, that's not to say that they're perfect or, you know, they have their hits and misses um, But this pizza the first time was a hit and it still is uh, Really every compliment that I gave this item back in January, I would say holds true. I Think that it has the perfect balance of both sauce and toppings. The ratio is just right. And I like that the sauce has this robust, it's very, very flavorful. And you might look at it because I'll tell you what, when I get a pizza, this is just when I get it personally. Now, when I get something to do the review, I just get it how you would normally get it. If I'm just getting a pizza for me, I sometimes get it light on the sauce. That's just how I am. So, Looking at it and seeing all the sauce on top of the pizza one may wager, eh, is that a little too overwhelming? No, it's not. I think this is the perfect amount, quite frankly, because the pizza itself is on the thicker side, you know, so it's doughy, yeah, it's greasy, it's oily, you know, it's your, your fast food takeout pizza, granted. You have the oiliness of the pepperoni and all of the fattiness therein, with a little bit of spice as well. I think the plain noises kind of make this interesting, honestly. But then you have this robust, very flavorful tomato sauce that it just balances everything out. It makes sure that all of the oil, the oil and greasiness of it is kind of kept in check, that it's not overwhelming, overbearing, it moderates everything out, it ties it all together. Likewise, the pepperoni, very flavorful, and a decent quantity of it. My favorite is the, you know, the old world pepperoni, the little cup pepperonis. Um, that's my favorite, definitely. 
and uh, those are great too, there's a good amount of it. And the toppings really stretch to the crust, there's a decent amount of everything. It's not like it's, it's good, but there's just a little bit of it here and there. Good portion size too, and uh, I like it. It's just a good pizza all around. Um, it's nice to see, again, Pizza Hut bringing this back because I think they realize that this is a good item, they've got a good thing going, let's keep it that way, you know? So I'm happy with it, still maintaining the standards, good quality, it's not messy either. You could see that I was able to eat this, there's nothing that's dripped down into the box, I mean, you can look, I ate this over the box, you could see that there wasn't sauce dripping everywhere. Um, it may look as though it has that potential, but really it's it's not as messy as you think and it didn't It didn't drip in my lap or anything like that either. So yeah, it's not messy Tastes good. It's at a decent price too, you know 13 bucks for this can't complain there uh, So I'm still very happy with it So if you got the you know, if you got the Detroit style pizza months ago Sorry and you were sitting there and you're wondering, well, you know, it's back, but I don't know how it's going to be right now. It's still good. So, thumbs up there, and I'm going to maintain the 9 out of 10 rating for this pizza. They did a good job. It's still good. And that's all you need to know. So with that, tried out the Detroit-style pizza from Pizza Hut. Still good. By the way, the cheese is fine also. Decent quantity of it. Doesn't get in the way of things. Like I said, everything just blends together, and it's all tied in. Nice little crunch on the crust as well. So, it's a good pizza, deserving of uh, the, you know, the continuation of that 9 out of 10 rating. And with that, that's all that I have for you. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, revisiting the Detroit-style pizza from Pizza Hut. And as you can see, there is a literal horde of planes on their way to Pizza Hut right now to snack up on this, uh, this re-release. That's all. Take care.